Welcome to June's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is longest consecutive sequence. Given an unsorted array of integers, nums, return the length of the longest consecutive element sequence. You must write an algorithm that runs in O of n time. But let's forget that for a second. Uh, say that we had this list of numbers. What is the longest consecutive element sequence? It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? 100 and 200 aren't involved in any consecutive sequence. So therefore, we're going to return a 4. Now, if we didn't care about time complexity, the approach would be fairly simple, right? We would just sort our array, and then we would go through it and try to find the longest consecutive um, amount. So let's begin with that. All we can, what we'd have to do is uh, sort our nums, but we also need to get rid of any um, repeating numbers because if we add all ones, we don't want to count all the ones because they're not consecutive, right? So what we can do is just say, make this into a set. So actually, I make it into a list set nums. And we'll make this right here. Then we'll just go through it and say, uh, we'll keep track of the lengths so far, as well as our final output, which is going to begin with one. And we'll say, for i in range of 1 through the length of numbers. Let's check to see if the number coming behind this is equal to uh, minus 1. So if nums i minus 1 plus 1 is equal to nums of i, okay, that means we should increase our so far by 1. Otherwise, we need to reset it. Let's say so far should equal 1 here. And each time, we're going to store our output to be the max of output and the so far that we calculate. Finally, just return our output. Now, one edge case is if not nums, then we don't want to return a one. So we'll say if not nums, we'll return zero instead. Now, this would work. Um, it's probably the most straightforward approach and actually does get accepted, even though it's n log n time. And I think the reason for that is because these sort of sorting algorithms are uh, very good in Python. Uh, but say that we want to solve this in O of n. How could we do that? Well, how many approaches are there to um, figure out how to sort this in OVN time. Well, we can certainly think about bucket sorting, but it's just not really viable here because we have such a wide range of numbers as well as the fact that we have repeating numbers. So pigeonhole pigeonholing these into like n minus one buckets isn't really going to tell us anything uh, unlike that gap question. So what else can we do? Um, well, what if we used a hash? If we used a hash for all these numbers, is there a way that we could go through it and only care about the consecutive elements, count those up? And if you think about it, there actually is. Like, say that we're trying to find any consecutive uh, length array here. We don't want to do that, like, n squared and check every single uh, number here. Like, the only numbers that we care about are the ones that begin the consecutive sequence. So that would mean, like, for instance, 1, uh, because we see that's the beginning of a consecutive sequence. The way we can tell that is just check, just check to see if n minus 1 exists in our lookup. Because if 0 exists, that means we, can, we should start from 0 to count up how many consecutive elements there are, not 1, right? And there's only, uh, here we see 1, uh, 100, and 200 would be the potential beginning of any consecutive sequence, right? And all we're going to do is just iterate then, increasing that number uh, by 1 to see if the next number exists in our set. And we'll count that count those up, and that actually ends up becoming O of n time because we're only going to be caring about uh, the very first element inside of our sequence. Okay, so to do that, let's begin by first creating a set. We'll just say um, nums equals a set of nums, and we'll store our let's see output to begin with zero. Now four n in nums, doesn't matter how it's sorted. Uh, we're going to check to see, hey, does it, n minus 1 exist in nums? So if n minus 1 is not in nums, we know that this is a beginning of some sort of sequence, or potentially, right? Uh, so what we'll do is have uh, some sort of temporary number. We'll say start. So while start is in nums, we are going to uh, increase our start by one, and once we find that there's no more left, we are going to calculate our output to equal the max of output, and 
what would it be? It would be whatever the start is. Well, this would actually be the end now at this point, minus the end that we're calculating. Finally, just return our output. And that should be it. So let me make sure this works. Looks like it's working, so let's submit it. And there you go. So this looks like it might be n squared time, but actually isn't because of uh, this condition here. We're not gonna ever uh, go into this while loop for numbers that come be in between some sort of consecutive sequence. We're only gonna care about the very beginning one. So uh, this is O of n time. We do use O of n memory because of our set, but kind of unavoidable. Uh, there are some other solutions involving like radix sort and union find, but I found those too complicated uh, really to be worth it. So we'll stick with this solution. Okay, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.